I took my wife to Mexico this year because she wants to see me get murdered. <laughs> What's going on down there? All-inclusive resort, all you can eat, all you can drink. One of these places where no matter where you go, somebody's offering you booze. Tequila, senor. <laughs> It's 8 a.m. <laughs> Yes, I will have tequila, yes. I mean, why are we paying for it? <laughs> you can spot the Canadians in Mexico. We're pretty easy to point out. Getting off the plane, still wearing our jeans. Oh my gosh, guys, it is so hot down here! <laughs> it was like minus four back home. What is this, like plus 37 or something? Cerveza? Yeah! <laughs> Other giveaway, white. We're very white people. White Canadians are very white in Mexico. You know why? Nine, ten months of the year, we get no direct sun exposure onto this cream of mushroom soup. <laughs> right into the Mexican sun. Great idea. By noon, red. So painfully bubbly red, but drunk and not catching on. I'm sexy, I know it. <laughs> Ended up at a wine tasting. I don't belong at a wine tasting. If you've been to one of these pretentious, hey? You ever heard the dialogue floating around describing wine? Like, oh, very oaky. Would you say very oaky? Yes, I would say very oaky. Very good. <laughs> What a distinct, delicious character on this guy. Yeah, and very peppery. Peppery, absolutely peppery. T tobacco, yes, peppery tobacco. I <laughs> I'm like, this is good, hey, this is good. <laughs> Woo, that's boozy, that's a boozy one, right? <laughs> so we meet the wine expert guy, right? He comes over, he says, oh, hello, I'm your sommelier. I was like, ooh, a pirate. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't help me fit in. But I'm getting good at wines, right? So I taste the wine and I said to him, I said, is this a Beaujolais? And he said, very good, it is a Beaujolais. Very impressive. Most people can't tell the difference between a Beaujolais and a Pinot Noir. And I said, ugh, poor people are disgusting. <laughs> I'm all right, I'm all right. I got a high five. I, got a high, I was in, I was in the gang after that. <laughs> I'm originally from Northern Ontario, a little town called Wawa. Not a lot of, uh, yes, yes. Not a lot of wine drinking going on out there, a lot of beer drinking. Come and visit, Northern Ontario is beautiful. Just don't drive your smart car. We have moose up there, and uh, if you hit a moose with your smart car, wow, you just become part of the moose. <laughs> moose survives, you're okay, you just live the rest of your life trapped inside a moose, just sucking out the side. You're stuck in there, just meep, 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 somebody! Is somebody coming? German couple in a Volkswagen on the other side, help us, we are also stuck inside the moose! Please, please! Come to this side now, yes, don't go ahead, please, we're very hungry. <laughs> Come over, we're having a wine tasting. <laughs> <laughs> Just fun to do that German accent sometimes, isn't it? <laughs> my last name is Zedlacher. It's an Austrian name. My father moved from Austria to Canada. When I was a kid, I asked him, what was, what was Christmas like growing up in Austria? He said it was beautiful. I said, you have the same traditions that we have here in Canada? Very similar. Uh, here we have Santa Claus. Over there they have Sinterklaus. <laughs> Leave it to the German-speaking people to make Santa Claus sound evil. <laughs> Sinterklaus is coming for you, yes? <laughs> oh. <gasps> yes, tonight while you're sleeping, he comes. <laughs> he comes down the chimney. But only if you're good. Only if you're good. And he knows if you're good. Because he's always watching you. Always watching. <laughs> From the top of the earth, always watching. Sleep tight. <laughs> so over there, Sinterklaas comes on. Christmas Eve and gives toys and candies to the good boys and girls. But over there, Sinterklaas has a sidekick, an evil sidekick named Krampus. Now, Krampus is a nine-foot monster who abducts bad children and drags them off to his lair. 
So I asked my dad, what was Christmas Eve like growing up in your house? Horrifying was the word he said. <laughs> All of his brothers and sisters hiding in one bedroom. <laughs> well, my grandfather walked around the house with big heavy work boots stomping. <laughs> Where's the bad children? <laughs> Time to go to my lair. I can't wait to have children so I can bring this tradition to Canada. <laughs> right? I'm going to have the best behaved kids. I wanted an Xbox. You're lucky you're not in a lair, all right? <laughs> no kids yet. We've been married for two years. Um, want to get my wife pregnant soon. She's got baby ache. You ever meet a lady with baby ache? It's pretty obvious. She's starting to dress the dog up. <laughs> <laughs> Little jackets, little sweaters, little hats, little booties, little costumes. And we have a pug. <laughs> so he's embarrassed already. <laughs> Poor guy. He loves to go for a walk. You say to him, you want to go for a walk, buddy? And he gets all excited. <laughs> and then he pull out the sweater and just watch his face melt. Just, oh, I used to be a wolf.